Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be constructing the circumcenter and circumcircle of a triangle. Uh, it looks a bit more complicated than it is, but if you need to revise uh, bisecting a line, you can watch some of our other videos. But let's get started. Okay, so this is what our circumcenter is going to look like once it's complete, and our circumcircle. So you can see there's quite a lot of construction lines here, and let's just see how this is done. Okay, so just in case you're wondering what a circumcenter actually is, a circumcenter is just the point at which all three of a triangle's perpendicular bisectors meet. Um, and a circumcircle is just a circle that is centered upon that point. So let's see how it's done. So our first step is going to be to grab the compass and bisect any two of the lines. So I'm just going to bisect XZ first. And you can just set your compass length here to anything you like as long as it looks like it's more than half the line. So we're just going to swing two arcs here from both the points X and Z. And it's going to look like this. And now we're just going to grab our ruler and make sure to join our vertices so that we actually find the bisector of this line. So we're just going to join them like this. And that's our bisector for our first line. And now we're just going to repeat this process for another line. So I'm just going to bisect the line x, y now. And once again, just making sure your compass exceeds half the length of the line. And we're going to swing two arcs here. And again from the point y. And once again, we're going to take our ruler and join these two uh, overlapping points here so that we have a nice orange line, which will signify our bisector. Okay, so our third and final step here is just going to be to draw the circumcircle now itself. So we're just going to center it on that point of overlap in the orange lines and make sure it goes through each of the vertices. So it goes through Y, it should go through X and Z as well. So we're just going to swing this around now. It goes through X nicely as well. And Z at the bottom. And we're just going to make sure it's nice and clear for the examiner as well. And there's our circumcircle. So that is it for this construction and I'll see you next time.